Welcome back to the show. We're going to watch some baggage. This is Todd. He's got a secret, and it's hidden inside He's this He's been in a hundred bar fights. <laughs> 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 This dude, this dude has so much anger in him. <laughs> like, if one of them involves fighting or the police, yes. Like, sorry, <laughs> Todd. This dude erupts. <laughs> mean streak. Serious. Mean uh, streak. When he gets drunk, you don't want to be in yeah. the room. Did he gamble away his life savings? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Does he only bathe once a week? <laughs> we'll open no. up this bag what was the first one? Did we miss it? Start over. We've been laughing Did at this guy. This in a mean way. <laughs> He's got a secret and it's hidden inside this He's red so bag. so normal looking. Did he sleep with his best friend's wife? No. Tried. Did he gamble away his life savings? Yes. Yeah, it wasn't that much. Does he only <laughs> bathe once a week? We'll open up this bag and a whole lot I more. I could believe the bathing thing. Like a prison yeah, dude. Like, the way he's standing kind of looks like he's the guy that one day at work, he's like, you know, I actually I know only we shower are. once a week. We opened. <laughs> and we, you're eating lunch, and you're like, what the hell is that? We opened up pretty hot there. Yeah. Uh, apologies, but we were looking at that guy on screen before we started. You told you all of their flaws before you don't need this. Them? Before we get into this episode, let me help you get into a new habit of eating delicious cereal. Guilt-free cereal. I was a kid. I loved cereal. I ate it all the time. If I didn't enjoy the dinner, my mom said, whatever, Jim, just go get some cereal and shut up. And I'd eat cereal, bowl after bowl after bowl. I grew up. I wanted to continue eating cereal. I realized it's just candy in a bowl, a lot of it. Just candy in a bowl. It's bad for you. Found Magic Spoons, guilt-free, healthy cereal for adults. And I have been in cereal heaven ever since I found it. Zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, only four net grams of carbs in each serving. Only 140 calories a serving. Keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low-carb. You can go to magicspoon.com slash watchin'. Grab a custom bundle of cereal and be sure to use our promo code WATCHIN at checkout to save $5 off your order. Welcome to Baggage, where I'm singles share open. their shortcomings in the hopes of finding long-lasting love. Now, right now, let's meet our hopeful dater. He's a life coach from Northridge, mm. California. Please welcome So he back used to be an alcoholic. <laughs> hey, guys. Good to see you. What kind of young lady are you looking for? I'm looking for a girl who's fearless. Yes. A girl who wears skirts in the rain, perhaps. Skirts in the rain. That's yeah. fearless? Yeah, that's fearless. It's fun. Somebody oh, who's fun. Okay. It's a girl who doesn't take herself too seriously. Oh, good. Stop. Okay. <laughs> You're looking a lighthearted woman. Well, Todd, we've got three terrific ladies who could have the right the chemistry rain? for you. But like all of us, they've got some baggage. You excited to meet these ladies Absolutely, now? Absolutely, Jerry. Let's bring them out. Let's bring them out, indeed. He I'm starting to like him. He likes <laughs> inadequately dressed women. <laughs> I'm your house nut from California. I love to have fun and stay fit. If it's the summertime, I like to ride the waves and the surf. And if it's the wintertime, I grab a board and head down the mountain. But either way, if you pick me, we're going to have fun all year round. <gasps> Sounds like a I've got something kind of mean. We've been, it's a, I feel bad for how mean we've started off. I don't know if we'll have to edit this out. Because this is kind of. Whisper, take, take this away and whisper it. Like that? I don't know. I just don't know if that's being like r over the top rude. Oh. <laughs> Look at Jerry's face. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying no. Don't say it. Okay. That's Jerry. <laughs> Up next, she's an artist. I'll let you guys guess in the City. comments. Please what was Jake Christina. thinking? Ooh. Belt. Ciao, Todd. Look at those teeth. I am a free spirit who loves to sing and loves oh to be nude. God. Pick me and I will stimulate both your ears and your eyes. She's me. Yep. She's annoying as hell. Finally, she's an office assistant from Wisconsin. Hot. Say hi to Candace. And this. Hi, Todd. I am a fun-going person with a flamboyant personality. I'm easygoing and easy to please. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> it looks to me like you can't I go love wrong Todd. You can see. These ladies brought a small. Oh, yeah. I love Todd. He's what we thought he was. Secret, yes. We saw one second of him. I didn't think he had this much energy. Of course, the bigger the bag, oh, yeah, the bigger he does. the baggage. Okay. This way, Todd will know what he's getting into when he chooses one of these women for a date. So, 
Ladies, Todd celebrates winning games by locker boxing a team. But he's very energetic and happy Let's about the whole thing. With locker Jennifer. boxing. I don't shave my legs. <laughs> wow. Um, Jake said she had hairy arms. <laughs> so that's what I said to Jimmy. <laughs> the light was reflecting and you could see like a lot of arm hair. So now it's full circle. I have much sympathy for that because someone I I know, I think it was someone in middle school, was very embarrassed about her arm hair. So she right. like shaved it off, but then, right, then it you was got like, like stubble, stubble yeah. and that and people would touch her arm in middle yeah. school and, and then like it's someone someone touched her and was like, Ew. Yeah. And then I so I have like sympathy for right, that. Right, right, right. That's I, why I, I saw someone's life get crushed for on a day. So you wax them, I'm assuming. Uh, I wish. Not at all, really. Why? Is there a specific reason? <laughs> okay. Look, I'm a really low maintenance girl, free spirit, like you mentioned, and sometimes I'm just in a big hurry and I don't always get to it, but I do shave my armpits. Awesome. Okay. Chris <laughs> Yeah, go with your bag. Awesome. Awesome. Mm, don't care about you. Where's the camera? <laughs> awesome. You've lost. <laughs> I like Todd a lot. Yeah, big time. Sure. Yeah, you're from New York and you dress like that. I owned over 500 pairs, pairs? of shoes. A thousand shoes? How many feet do you have? Just two feet, but Todd. they're super cute and super small, and they make me look tall, which I need. Why would you need 500 pairs of shoes? Actually, I'm a spokesmodel for a shoe designer. Oh. Yeah, so I... So <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, you exactly. and me. What was that? You what's, and me. What's he do? Yeah. What was his he profession? He models shoes. Why did he do in like his oh, head. both of us? In his head. What was his job? Do you remember He's Zach? a shoe model. Zach doesn't remember either. He's a life coach. Oh, a life coach. So what oh. the hell was that? Yeah, you and me. Yeah, we both model oh, shoes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoe modeling. I get it. We both got the same thing going on. What is that? Why would you need 500 pairs of shoes? Actually, I'm a spokesmodel for a shoe designer. Spokesmodel? Yeah. Huh? It's like, oh. So there's an answer to this here. <laughs> exactly. And everyone has their thing, right? I got shoes. I don't think it's that shoe bad. Shoe fetish? Not a bad, yeah. yeah. Not a bad thing. <laughs> Candace, <laughs> show us He's your He's cracking baggage. me up, man. I like him so much. Oh my God. Ew. Gross. I smoke a cigarette every hour. It's a tough one. I went out with a girl who smoked, and she yes. tried to cover it up with uh, really expensive perfume. So it was like fish on top of garbage. It was pretty bad, but uh, we'll see. Maybe you're willing to quit. I mean, <laughs> hey, no. if you're worth it, then I'll quit. You know, I'm no. working on that. I'm Get trying patch. to patch out, you know. I like it. In that dress, it might not matter. I like it. There you go. Ooh. All right. OK. Todd, you have Here's what I have to say about Todd. Say it. Sure. I still think he has, like, easily tapped rage. Oh, yeah. In him. And, like, he smokes cigarettes, demons too, so I don't get what he's saying. With. Like, that guy smokes cigarettes, so I don't yes. understand why he's demons acting Demons he thing. deals with. Yes. He is bringing it as... My ex smoked, and I used to rip bogues with her. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could find him at the bar smoking smokes most bars. nights. Uh, I love what he's doing. Todd's about to see what's hidden in the lady's medium-sized bag. Find out whose baggage is too hot to handle. Right know who would play Todd in the movie? Um, one of the James Cons. Ooh, that works. I was going a young Gary Sinise. I don't know who that is. All right. <laughs> one of the, what's the con from Friday Night Lights? Relationship. Now, James Conn's son. Scott Conn. Scott these ladies smallest Who did you say? Bags. Gary Sinise. And we've got Jennifer, who likes her hairy legs. Lieutenant Dan. Christina, who has her oh, okay. own personal it. shoe store. And Candace, A little broken inside. around the clock. Todd, it's time to decide which baggage is a deal breaker. Now, I'm going to open their medium-sized bags. God, it's now, these so are nice when they realize they didn't have so to explain you won't this. know which bag belongs to which woman. Nobody's watching this show for which information. which baggage is your deal breaker, the woman who claims that bag will be going home. Bag number one. Audience. I mean, obviously, nude NYC. Magazines. Girl. Yeah, she's a nudist, right? She said she's always nude. Bag number two. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I, hate being I think that's the cigarettes. Uh, could be. One's an option Bag there. The hairy legs. Three. I don't no, know. She loves being touched. She's a free spirit. Oh, <laughs> I cry 
every day. Todd. What do you think? <laughs> Todd. Uh, well, first of all, let's start with I pose for a nude adult museum. I think, hey, if you've got it, if you can pose for it, that's fantastic. Although, you know, there's some problems that sometimes come out with your family or your buddies, you know, because your buddies have, have yeah. now seen your, your girl naked. So can go both ways. I personally don't have a problem. I know with it. her I from hot. somewhere. Um, I hate being touched. Really? One of you hates being touched? That's uh, like okay. all the time? Or like you hate being poked? Or that's a tough one. And then uh, I cry every day. He's so um, weird. You know what? I've been like with a him. lot of exes that cry every day. It's I think that's hippie. You always feel like it's your fault. Yeah. No I think one nude is not like the nudist. Him. You see all Is that one, two, three? This yeah. is the tough one. Sometimes I do that. You don't get no which woman. You don't get no. Is associated yeah, no. with each piece of baggage. Jerry? Jerry. So you have to make a choice, though. Wow. Which Loss one is cool. of these is a <laughs> deal breaker? Words, because randomly. whoever that baggage goes with, goes home. <laughs> Jerry, my deal breaker is... Touched. He had an audible reaction to that. What's she from? I know Touch. her. You don't know her. Okay. I mean, this is... I hate being touched. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. He, you screamed, Whoa. what is that? Yeah, I mean, God, if you're attracted to someone, you want to touch them, right? <laughs> Ladies, it's time Simple. to claim your baggage. What was the hippie's name? Uh, hippie. I'm trying to figure out where I know her from. She went hip for sure. All three of them going to the third bag? What plan. is this? Well, they didn't plan this at all. Yeah, that's yep, obvious. And oh. Yeah. Yep. Wow. I'm sorry, Candace. It's time Maybe to Maybe you up can't and go. let New York girl open with I'm always nude. Well, yeah, kind of a. Maybe you would have gotten the chance to touch me. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> All of our eliminated contestants get sick. Could you imagine? <laughs> well, Todd, maybe you would have gotten the chance to touch me. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> blood. <laughs> All of our eliminated contestants get oh, six Jesus. months of perfectmatch.com <laughs> online dating service. So maybe Candace will find somebody who can handle her baggage. Two women remain. Baggage. We've got Christina, who poses nude for adult magazines, and Jennifer, who cries every day. Why don't you guys join me here on the hot seat? If no reaction. She's sobbing, that would be good. Jennifer, huh? I gotta find out where I know her from. Yes, I do hate to be touched, and dirty hands, they gross me out. But hey, Ty, maybe if you cleaned up your act a little bit, I would be more of a hands on kind of girl for you. Welcome to the hot seat where things kind of misplayed really the game. Heat up. Now, yeah. single she didn't want to be exposed there. two big secrets, but it's only fair that Todd gets to hear more about the stories behind their baggage. So let me ask you, what is your <gasps> concern here? Well, my concern with Jennifer is that, like, I like to tease girls. I like to, you know, play around. I joke around a lot. So I'd kind of be concerned with hurting her feelings a lot. Um, although I do cry at commercials and beginning of every movie. So what do you think? Beginning of every movie. Cry every time he talks? Flush it out. No, I can redeem myself on that one. Uh, what I meant by that I cry every day, I'm, I'm an artist at heart and I have a sensitive soul. Yeah, I don't always cry because I'm not like daddy's little girl and I can't take care of myself in a big world or anything like that. Um, I cry sometimes when I'm happy. I cry when I'm overwhelmed by beautiful life moments. Um, I cry when I'm sad too sometimes, but I'm just a sensitive cry artistic soul. Kind of sure. That makes sense. Yeah. I'd hate to see those beautiful flies well up with tears. <laughs> What's your concern here? Her. It's tough. You I don't mean, know her. she's got it. You never know how your family's going to react. You never know. Like, I got friends. We bust on each other all the time. Mm. going to be really <sighs> tough Gross. with my she friends uh, when they know that, oh, you know, Todd's dating Us a game celebration. model or Todd's dating a porn star is what they'll say, whether you've done porn or not. That's a really tough one for me. Well, I have not ever done porn. The magazines I have done have been completely classy. My father has seen me, so I think yeah. it's tasteful, and I think that it's a feather in your cap. And mm -hmm. her father's seen her pose nude? I mean, maybe there's a whole other issue there that we're missing, oh, right? Please. Is this a kind oh, of girl? Wow. Wow. Oh, oh. She bangs so her I dad. Wasn't, I wasn't nude, like I said. Yes. What? I had right. panties on. What was the cut on the panties? It was a, it was a nice, like, bikini style. Oh, bikini? Like a high cut? Like a boy short? Oh, oh is this a boy? Too this much is fun. Fun. <laughs> OK. Uh, I can see him with either of you, to be honest. He's so Why that he guy. You? Yeah. I'm confident. He's so I'm the kind of girl you can take guy. to a party and you can just let loose. You don't have yeah. to babysit me yeah. all night. I will go off and find other friends and then introduce you to them. Really? 
put you uh, part of the party and make you have even more friends. And that's great. So you'll grab, you'll you'll find other friends. You'll throw them into the mix. You'll Absolutely. introduce them to me. That's fantastic. I'm an extrovert, outgoing personality. Why you and not? Todd is the guy that prides you, himself on knowing cuts of underwear. You go out on a date with a girl you like, like, mm -hmm. and you've like told Todd, you're like, yes. yeah, I kind of like this chick. Oh shit. And Todd goes, oh shit, did she suck your dick? <laughs> Yeah. And you're like, Todd. Todd. I kind of like this chick. So. I found BJ from Christina. the last episode. Well, I'm really not Christina. Um, it just sounds like she's not the kind of girl you want to bring home to meet your family. I don't know if when you're dating somebody, you're looking for somebody long term or if you're just looking to have fun. Punch but her. I think I can be both. What's your greatest accomplishment in life? One of my greatest oh, my accomplishments Christ, was Todd. I was one, the only girl on the San Diego State surf team. Really? And they didn't make you shave your legs. Doesn't that help when you're surfing? <laughs> you have a wetsuit on, so oh, it slicks okay, okay. everything All down. Right. All right. You asshole. Fantastic. <laughs> greatest accomplishment. Exactionist my greatest pig. accomplishment, I like to say, is I'm a UCLA graduate. Really? Yeah. Fantastic. I'm a smart cookie. Go Bruins. Like 2,000 yeah, people absolutely. a year do that. Okay. Couldn't get, both very attractive, couldn't get much different though. Well, here's the deal. We'll see what's in Jennifer and Christina's Todd's big playing bag. the game. And don't forget, Todd's got baggage too. Did he sleep with his best friend's wife? Maybe. Did yeah. he gamble away his life savings? Yes. Yes. Or does he only bathe once a week? No. I don't think it's that either. Todd's yeah. Baggage. From what we know about Todd. When we come back. Can't find him. Todd? to baggage where showing off your bad side could be a good great bags way or to bad find bags. your mate. Now I'm here with Todd, Doesn't matter. Todd will make coach good. from California. By the way, what's a life coach? People need advice, people need direction. I'm yeah. really good at giving it to them. But you're looking for a love coach. <laughs> no, Absolutely. Not. Todd is about to see what's in New York two lady bags and kind of hasn't given decision. baggage yet. She's will like, I have Jennifer, shoes, I'm a model, crier with a free and I've, spirit. I've, Some people wouldn't want to do it. The shoe obsessed model who's confident in her own skin. It's time to reveal your biggest piece of baggage. I hate to be like that guy, but he's going with the nude model, right? He's leaning that Jennifer. way very hard. Ooh, that sucks. I only have what? In my Chick's bank broke, account. Jerry. Where do I know <laughs> her all the from? Time. I don't oh have to worry God. about where her next meal is coming from. I don't know. What if you took her out? You're not expecting her to pay, are you? Jerry, I, uh, I don't know. She's a great girl, but you know, that's a lot of responsibility. You know? Jennifer, what do you, how did it get down to 37? Or did it just get up to 37? Have you been <laughs> working really hard? I can try to explain myself. Yes. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm starting my own business. I had mentioned I'm a free spirit. I'm a risk taker. What is that? And I'm starting my own freelance design business. And. I just know it's going to take off. It's it's going to be successful. If you like her and if you then love her, you got to step in, right? Yeah. Um, I. What? That's, yeah. that's an issue for Jerry, you. Jerry, don't it's, put it's love all, on yeah, that. You know, <laughs> if I had tons of money coming in right now and money bags. Well, you're a life coach on a game show. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I would feel so bad. Let's, can you know, we step in? Didn't know where your life coach number was one. From. Don't go on a game show. All right. To look for love. Christina, show us life. your baggage. Ooh, here Me? it is, Jerry. I didn't know it was my turn. Seasonal She's me. What is seasonal bisexual? I'm a seasonal <laughs> bisexual. A seasonal bisexual? So, okay, so Christmas time. Okay, she's bisexual. So. No, you get you get her fall and spring. So, all right, hold on, guys. By the way, uh, give you we just saw where your next meal was. Dude, I know her from somewhere. And Don't it's me know off. her. Gotta come to grips with that. I may have met her before. Don't um, know her. This is a, a little bit of the untapped rage. She looks like every friendly waitress that you think you've kind of flirted with. I think she like, looks think like... kind of like. Did she kind of like me? Because I kind of liked her. That's a really good call. Yeah. I also think she looks like a adult porn star that does like podcasts and stuff. Okay. What's the one that always does Barstool? A Bella something? Does she look like her? No. Don't know. Anyway, this is that untapped rage. Just a little bit of it. Like, he gets really upset about oh. the seasonal. 
All right. Just, ima just imagine Christine, something that was actually upsetting him. Like he baggage. can't, his brain can't connect the two words. Watch this. <laughs> They're the veins in his neck. Yeah. Seasonal bisexual? So, okay, so Chris so, is okay. bisexual. Classic no, intro to a rant. Her fall and spring. <laughs> By the way, I'll give you some credit. I've never heard that term before, seasonal bisexual, in credit. quotes. Fair point. What does <laughs> seasonal mean? Nope. Well, it tends to be that in the summer, because oh, of bikinis God. and bathing suit time and pool time and barbecues, I tend to get more attracted to women. It's just been a trend. Uh, that doesn't mean because it's me too, bisexual. Me doesn't mean that I can't have a guy join us. Good answer, by the way. Excellent, excellent answer. Well, then what by happens the in the so winter? So in the summertime, we get three ways. In the winter, I get cold very easily, so I want a man to cuddle up to. I get cold in the winter too. She'll be with her in the holidays. That's her. absolutely true. Curling up under the mistletoe. You hate her because she's you. Yeah. And Jennifer, this is your final Opposites plea. Opposites attract. You should pick me, because. Yes, I am a free spirit. I'm adventurous. I'm athletic. I love to play, I I have a good time. <laughs> I do. But I, I am a I responsible human I being as well. And I'm a risk taker, an entrepreneur. And Christina just seems a little bit like a loose cannon to me. I mean, seasonal bisexual? I've never heard of that term before either. So it just makes me think maybe you can't rely on her to be a steady mate. Christina, this is your final plea. Christina. You should pick me, Todd, because I will introduce you to things that you've never experienced before, mm. obviously. And when I say I'm a free spirit, I really mean it. Free spirit meaning I am bisexual, meaning I am not afraid of my body. I'm into posing nude. I'm into going to nudist resorts. I'm into living a lifestyle that's, that really encompasses the word free spirit, that's really risk-taking, that's really, uh, yeah, out there, adventurous. We'll have fun, no doubt. Wow, you, there's a choice here. Mm -hmm. There's clearly a choice. Clearly. Uh, and it's time for you to make that choice. Will it be Jennifer, who doesn't shave her legs, cries at least once a day, and has only $37 in her bank? Who's he choosing? Or You'd will it like be Christina, just made. who owns more than 500 pairs of shoes? I'm nice. Poses nude for adult magazines, and says she's a seasonal bisexual. Todd. Send one of these ladies packing. <laughs> we all know where he's going. <laughs> one girl, all of her baggage was, I, I make I'm sorry, it a lot. Jennifer. Yes. You have too much baggage. Also, the other girl told me she was going to be naked really all the time, sorry. and in the summer we have and three I ways. too am sorry, three Jennifer, yeah. but it's time to pack she up She has a lot of go. shoes, too. Because it's going to make me cry. Uh, <laughs> I like that. But congratulations, oh. Christina and Todd. Oh, just remember when she's you're super seasonal, short. I'm yeah. Springer. All right. But we still have one more bag to open, and that's Todd's. Christina has to decide think, if she wants to Do you think someone's whispering these in Jerry's ear? No. In his big no one. Red it's pretty bag. impressive. No one. Like, even to Did think of one. Why is he doing that face? What was all those it's faces? really horny. What are all these faces? Loudly horny. Or does he only bathe once a week? <laughs> we'll find out when we come back. All right. This dude totally is going to say he slept with his buddy's wife. I mean, there's... Oh, she can turn him down, which she might like. Welcome back to Baggage, where revealing your faults, fears, How tall do you think she is? 5'2? Perfect way to find your new sweetheart. Not even. Now, our date at Todd is just Joe Jerry Christina can't be. for a fantastic. I mean, this dude's date, like 5'7. But the tables no. have turned, and now it's Christina's He's five decision nine. because after all of she's that, she's got some big heels she on. She's five flat. Baggage, you know what I mean? Yeah, she's tall. Well, let's see. Maybe a 4'11. Now, what's the secret in Todd's big red bag? Did he sleep with his best friend's wife? <laughs> sure tried. Sure. <laughs> Did he gamble away his life oh, savings? Them. Yes. Both well, of those may be true. Does he only bathe once a week? I think it's going to be the wife thing. Me too. Christina, I think he's going to. It's going to be post-split. What do you see as the 
biggest and he's bag. Like, no, I think it's before. No. no, I think he's gonna say we uh, slept no. in high school and then they got married. The after sleeping college. with the best friend. Because you can't say the gambling like thing and be so freaked out. If they were cool with it, if it was a threesome and they were all cool with it, that would be that would that would be good. Because that's your own. I'm I'm okay with that. Because you're the free spirit. I'm the free spirit. No, Jennifer was a free spirit. Behind someone's back, and if it's cheating, I've been cheated on. They kind of did a free spirit off. It was the is the word of the day. Yeah. So that would be that would be a really big blow. Okay. Well. Okay. Todd, it's time to reveal your baggage. Oh, okay. I gambled away my life's Good story savings. or bad story coming? I completely coach. reformed. I learned my lesson. It was a really rough, interesting part of my life. I'm in a completely new chapter, and I promise you I will never, ever, ever gamble large sums of money on things that I do not know the outcome to. Well, well, that doesn't. Christina, I mean, he gambled his. Great. Why do you end it with things I don't know the away? outcome to? That's the question is. Some things he knows. Is this bag something you can handle? Whew. Mm. That's bullshit. He didn't even give us a story. Yet. I think it might be something I can handle, but I don't know if he is something I can handle. I don't know if he can handle me. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, Todd. You wow. have too much baggage. Oh, I'm sorry, Todd. No way. <laughs> You'll have to pack up and go. <laughs> that is the first time that no way. We, we've, been, we've been like, I don't care about this. I just don't like him. Yeah. I mean, he should have chose Jennifer. Yeah. He kind of, he went for the Hail Mary. Wow. He got shot down. Can man. we watch the No Way again? Yeah. Obviously. I mean, this dude punched something in the background oh. after the sh sh filming. Kicked off I'm the I'm sorry, set. Todd. You have too much baggage. That's awesome. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, Todd. <laughs> You'll have to pack up and go. All right. Maybe next season, Christina. <laughs> My season. Well, we didn't make a match today, but we had a good time. I want to thank everyone who was so brave to share their secrets. Remember, baggage comes in all shapes and sizes, and sometimes it fits, and well, sometimes it doesn't. We'll see you next time. Jerry made a play on her after the show. Uh, but I think I'm too much woman for you. Besides, with no savings, you couldn't even buy my issue of Playboy. I can handle you. In fact, she was in money. Playboy. I'm kind of interested in Jennifer. <laughs> she was in Playboy. We want to find that okay. real quick. Okay. Take a TV timeout. What's her human name? Christina. Christina, New York City. That's going to be tough. Christina, New York City, baggage, playboy. Short shoes. Christina. Context clues here. New York City, playboy. I mean, I don't think this is going to help us that much. What's what you do to me? That's not her, right? That's not her. Uh, what year is it? Oh, my God. Oh my God! This was a bad. Don't search this. I just make. No, sure you clicked it. I'm just making sure it's not her. It's not, dude. Because that'd be really sad. Google like 2010 or something. <laughs> okay. Um, the first result is a Playboy model that got murdered. Murdered. Um, I don't know, man. List of Playboy playmates by year. <laughs> the creepiest yeah, part of the show. This is why we never want to do this. But, dude, th the last time we didn't do this, the guts girl who I know. got sex on the in the public, sex in the public, sex in the public. I mean, this is like a. This is a tough. No, search. this isn't even the way to do it. Yeah. What we don't know anything else about her. Shoes, short, seasonal, bisexual. Um, likes to sing. Naked a lot. Baggage. I mean, it's just yeah, nothing it just about this going back to playmate who got murdered. And that's not fun. Tough Google search over here. Maybe even cut this out. So <laughs> bad. And I want to find the girl that I know, you know? You don't know her. The chat will find that. Anyway, that was a great episode of Baggage. Todd yeah. was awesome. Todd, man, I didn't think he was going to have... That energy, that whoa, that are they boycott or are they? I kind of knew he was going to be just like I did. That. I didn't. I missed that. I thought he was going to be a little bit of like a, just a little bit of curmudgeon. 
Oh, yeah. No, Just no, a little no, bit he's of curmudgeon. A, he's like, he didn't uh, have he's the energetic bro. Yeah. I liked him. Great episode. Don't Google what we Google. It'll bring you down. Goodbye.